Welcome back. Today at Datas R Us we will be training staff on how to represent data on a frequency table. Let's get started. Frequency tables are used to organize data using tallies. This first set of data is a survey on favorite highlighter colors. You knew that because of the title. That's right, Benny. The title tells us what data is being collected. Now, which of the four frequency tables is correctly representing the data? Well, I am going to start by having you cross out frequency table B. It can't be right because when I look at neon green, there is only one vote on the chart, but the paper says six. I want you to cross out frequency table C. There seems to be data missing from this one. Right on data explorers. So that leaves us frequency table A and D. It has to be A. D has only four votes recorded, but the note says it should be six. I did a quick check to make sure the rest of the numbers matched. Our final answer is A. Awesome work. We sure have hired some Datarific employees. Let me challenge you. Look at the next set of information. The first statement says six people like spaghetti. Let's cross out frequency table B. There are not six people represented on that chart. Statement two says that hamburgers are double the amount of spaghetti. Six plus six equals 12. Of the frequency tables left, D doesn't have 12 for hamburgers, so cross that one out. Mac and cheese had eight more people than hamburgers. That means mac and cheese has to equal 12 plus eight. 20. So frequency table C is incorrect because it only shows eight tallies. That leaves us A. Well, we already know that the spaghetti, hamburgers, and mac and cheese are correct on A. Let's check the rest. Steak has seven. Yes, it does, and hot dogs are three less than the steak, which would be four. We choose frequency table A. Outstanding work with frequency tables today. You have earned your break.